Hey. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome to Tuesday Night Craft Show. We're certainly honored that you took the time to be with us tonight. A little different look tonight because you're not going to be able to see our faces because we had a little bit of technical difficulty. But we are so thrilled that you are with us tonight. Uh, we're going to do the um, Crafter Show. And if you enjoy what you see and you like it, we hope that you'll click that red box and subscribe to May May May. May <laughs> to May May made its YouTube channel where we're trying to reach a goal of 400,000 subscribers in the year 2022. And we still got a ways to go, so we need your help. So if you enjoy what you see, please subscribe and be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you like what you see, and we'll certainly appreciate that and everybody else to know. If you see something that you like tonight that we do in the show, you can purchase those products at our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. Right after this, we'll have a crafter after show where we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. And we have a ton, I mean a ton of product to show you tonight. So we look forward to that time with you here in just a little bit. Shannon is not with us tonight. Uh, she took got the day off because she needed a day off because of the weekend that lies ahead of us. Because <laughs> Maymay said, don't come in today. <laughs> so Maymay said, don't come in. Shannon is not sick. She is well and doing good. Uh, she said be if resting. you wanted to pray for her, though, she wouldn't hate it if you still prayed for her. <laughs> no one ever hates that. <laughs> but welcome in. Oh, there she is in the comments. That's herself, <laughs> Shannon Woodfin. There she I is. I told you to take the night off. She told you to stay away. <laughs> anyway, we're glad you guys are with us tonight. Maymay, let's get started. Well, welcome in, everybody. We're going to play with some fun stuff. I don't know if you noticed the title of this video. It is, When You Don't Know What to Put in an Album, Let This Album Tell You. And in the thumbnail, I called it The Little Album That Could. So I love these little guys for this time of year. They are so awesome. I say this time of year because they work perfect with all of your, like, um, 12 Days of Christmas, Countdowns, Date Album. Remember we did a date album, a date night album last year with uh -huh. it? So cute. But let me show what we're going to do this year. I'm not going to open this one because this one's not mine. <laughs> this one belongs to one of you guys. Thank you. Save I'm not them opening something. It. Well, I opened this one earlier. Okay. So, well, now, you had to do that. I did. I'm also using this paper pack called Hello Christmas. We just got this one in. It is not a new pack. It's from 2020, but I'm, we brought it back. I really like it. It's a little bit, um, folksy is not the term for it, but like, I don't really know the term for it. To me, it's it. a little more cartoony, maybe. It's, But it's a little um, country cartoony. I don't know. You'll see some of the papers as we go. And so this is bag. what we're using. It is beautiful. Just came back in today, along with a bunch of other paper you'll see in the after show. Now, I because this is a 30-minute craft show, I got ahead of the game. Okay? Vintage is a good word, Don Marie. Good word. I got ahead of the game. But here's all I did. Okay? I just covered the pages. All right? And I covered all of the pockets. Now, if you've never seen this album before, let me show you what it comes like, okay? You get that album. You get these four little tags included with the album. And they come in here like this, okay? But as you know, this is not big enough for me. And I like it a little bit longer. So I'm going to change these out. So what I suggest you do with these, I was like, what am I going to do with these tags? These are perfect for gift giving this year. So if you buy these and get some, you get four to put on gifts. You could even make a tag out of this to put on this book to give to someone. Wouldn't that be cute? All right, so you see what I did. I've covered all the pages, but that's all I've done. Now, all the measurements are in the description below. I already got them to Tamitha. Can y'all believe it? I don't know. Who is this girl? On the ball. On the ball, I am. What? And. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. What? <laughs> and I covered the front. And you know I was gonna use this paper from this collection. All right. You're like, how does this album tell me what to do? Let me show you. Let me show you. Maybe you don't want your albums to tell you what to do. This one's going to. Here's how we're going to do it. So I am making these little guys that will prompt what goes in here. Now, let me tell you how this works. Okay. We have a stamp set right here and it is called prompted memories. This is not what it looks like. It looks cleaner and neater when you get it. That one's been slightly. Mine neater. is abused. Okay. Uh, this is the stamp that I'm going to use. Now, what this one does is, one second, y'all got to take a sip. I can talk all day and not have any tickles. And as soon as we go live, I have a tickle. Yep. 
Gotta um, have your shot of diet. Coke. I gotta have that. Okay, so what this one does is it allows you to make little like prompts for your albums. So if you want it to say Christmas dinner, uh, Christmas baking, Christmas gathering, Christmas candy, Christmas cards, Christmas carols, you can prompt what photo goes into what place. Isn't that kind of cool? I love that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to make some of those and I'm only going to do one on camera. I did some earlier. You guys, if you're having blur, if you'll just hit the little round wheel on YouTube, change the resolution. It's probably showing it to you in a, in a lower resolution. Change it to 1080p or 720 and you'll be OK. Um, no, this book is pre-made. If you came in late, you came in late. Y'all know Mame loves a pre-made book. This is the pre-made book and they are available. I already told you I was never making these from scratch again. Ain't doing it. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to get, I'm not gluing, I'm, I'm inking. Where'd my ink go? Here it is. All right, so I'm going to ink up the word Christmas, and I'm using making Christmas cookies, but from that set, I'm going to ink up this word, and I'm going to put it in the middle, and I like to put it on a little angle. So Christmas goes kind of in the middle and on a little angle, okay? Then I'm going to do the word making in the top corner. And then we're going to do, you guessed it, cookies in the bottom corner. So making Christmas cookies. Now I'm going to be able to show you something that I learned the hard way in just a second. That's okay. It'll match the rest of all of my errors in my book. Uh, you'll see in a moment. Because we, right. we don't do perfect. We don't do perfect. I don't, I don't even strive for perfect anymore. I have decided, okay, because my new life of quilting, like I do this at home and at night, my quilting life, I've made my first quilt top and I made a pretty big error. It's pretty stunning still. Well, I've decided to make some changes today after I spent some time with Penny, but not changes, You're additions. Fix it. No, no, I'm not going to fix it because Shannon and I decided that's my signature. The one big mistake in every project, my signature. I'm okay with that. So, so you're going to do that same mistake in every one? No, I'm just going to, if I have a mistake, I'm not going to call it a mistake. I'm going to say that's my signature. Oh. And when you find it, you go, mm, that's a man project. But isn't your signature supposed to stay the same? Not, No, just any errors in my project is my signature. Oh, okay. Babe, you got to cope how you cope. Look, okay? I go, I'm with you. Cope the I'm way you right cope. right there with you coping. So see what I did? I... <laughs> I put the um, stamp too far over because I wanted to use my stub punch. This is my stub and scallop punch, which comes in so handy. So what I would suggest is go ahead when you cut these, the measurements for these are in the description. Go ahead and stub and scallop punch them before you stamp. And I actually told myself to tell you that tonight and then I didn't. It's okay. It's my signature. <laughs> it's my signature. Okay, check it out. So I've already done them through the magic of television. Through the magic of two hours ago, I was making all of this. <laughs> Addie, Vinny is fine after Saturday night. Oh, he was mad. Awesome. He was angry at the way his team performed, but he was proud for Tamitha and the rest of the Tennessee fans watching. So he's doing the best he can to be a good sport. So see the ones I chose? I don't know if you can see them very well, but I like them. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. John Marie said, missing magnets. No, it would be magnet implants would be my signature, right? True, true, <laughs> true. All right, so I've got them all done. I like to put these in kind of in order of how we would take the picture. So I think making Christmas cards would probably be the earliest thing we would do. So I'm going to glue this one and let me show you where it's going. Also, by the way, this album has just been in my head. I've not seen it created all the way through. So we'll see if this works together. Right. Not, I've not laid it anything out. It'll just be your signature. Yeah, I will not. Uh, it could be my signature. No, this one works. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. Okay. Well, that really looks like you're putting a heavy load of glue. Um, remember, the camera adds 10 pounds of glue. I know. All right, so the first thing would be card making. I think next would be tree decorating for me. For me. Not that this is me, because some of these things on here, trust me, y'all don't want me to do. Like this whole making Christmas cookies should be purchasing Christmas cookies. That's what that should be called. All right. So look, each one of these guys will get this little dude. Isn't this cute? And there's only, this holds eight photos. Now it doesn't only hold, let me say this again. It has eight built-in pockets. Okay. But you can do whatever you want. There's ways to make other pockets. What would you say is next? Probably cookies. 
then like tradition. No, yeah, mm, yeah, I'm gonna put cookies. So see, if you give this as a gift, see, the person who gets it will know exactly what goes on the tags, which we'll be making in a minute. I'll show you the tags in a second. I just wanted to get a little ahead. Let's do ornament exchange next because my mom's church used to, and probably still does, I don't know, have a women's group and they did Christmas ornament exchange and they kind of did that middle of the month. And I think that would be cute in I here. I could not agree more with Terrence. Terrence says taking a picture of the baker at the grocery store, handing you the cookies. That counts. Makes it okay. That counts 100% to me. 100%. And after I learned yesterday that Gma can make mini cupcakes, I think I'll change it to making Christmas cupcakes, buying Christmas cupcakes and put a picture of Gma on me. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then next I'm going to do Christmas Eve, then Christmas Day, then Christmas dinner. Not in that order, huh? <laughs> yeah, because if it's Christmas dinner, it would happen on Christmas. Yes. Well, yeah, at least for us, because Christmas dinner is at night for us. We have not Christmas, Christmas dinner. Christmas well, lunch. It depends because dinner is actually call lunch. Dinner, lunch. Yeah. But dinner is supper at our house. Yeah. Well, Debbie, I appreciate you feeling sorry for old Vinny. Luckily, Vinny didn't take a snap. He didn't make a block. He didn't <laughs> commit a penalty. He didn't do any of that stuff. He'll recover pretty quick. He recovered pretty quick. You didn't have to have an ice bath. You didn't have to take any Advil. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I might have taken some Advil. You now, took a little Tylenol. I did have a headache. You did have a little that, headache afterwards. Uh, there was a lot of yelling. Play, a lot of yelling play in my house that, that my day. team put out on the field. I shouldn't even say my team. The team that I'm a fan of. The team you root for. That's Somebody it. asked what stamps that this is. It's called Prompted Memories. And I wanted to show you this, too, about this one. Prompted Memories. On the back, what we did is we put the words that are included in alphabetical order. Because in order to get the most words on here, we kind of put them strategically around. But I didn't want you to have to hunt yeah. for does that word exist on this set. So we did it like this so you could just look and see the words. I want to do a companion set to this. I find there are some other words I, I could see go with this. We got as many words as we could on this one at first. Actually, if y'all don't know, my friend um, Lisa, Lisa Wise of Lisa Wise Designs. It used to be this, but now it's Lisa Wise Designs. This was um, a collab with her. We did this together. So I'd like to add my twist to my words to it. So if y'all would like to see that, let me know. Okay, now let's talk tags. So tags are easy, you guys. All you have to do is make this like this, the size that fits in here. I made it four and a quarter by two and a half, okay? You can actually go a tiny, tiny bit wider, but not much because these um, pockets are glued pretty wide, okay? There's a pretty good bit of adhesive on these sides and I tried loosening it with my um, bone folder put in there just kind of getting a little ease. The issue with that was I felt like it was going to pop and I don't want that to happen so I just made my tag smaller. So this is going to be a really good opportunity for one of two things okay. If you put your photo here you can put a larger photo okay then use this for journaling about the photo or you can do like an Instagram two by three back here on here mm -hmm. and use the back for journaling and use this for a bonus photo. Whatever. It's your thing. Okay. It's your thing. You now, gotta do you. I want to do this. I love, 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 love these uh, dress my craft tag punches. I love them. So I cut two and a half inches wide. This guy, if you've not seen it before, it works with three sizes. You can do one and a half, two, and two and a half. And whatever size you put in, it has these alignment guides for you. And you just put your piece in between the size that um, collates with the piece you're using. And then you do this. And you get this. Look how cute. I love it. So I'm going to put these in here. I had originally thought, I don't think I, this one is a little bit wide. That's okay. I'll show you what happens. A little bit wide so I end it with um, some little flaps on the side. I just cut them away or you could just cut it down to the right size and not be lazy but I'm being lazy. Um, something I was considering when I first designed this was um, instead of stamping I wasn't originally going to stamp the little piece the little wording here. I was actually going to stamp it on here and then put the photo on the back but then I thought it's so cute to be here 
and then have the photo and journaling. I like that idea. I, I, everybody, I tell y'all, every time we make an album, put your handwriting in it. One day, someone will love reminiscing and seeing your handwriting. That's so right. put your handwriting in it. All right. So I made eight of them. Okay. Now you could put some eyelets in. I think this, I think this album calls for eyelets. I'm sorry. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I just think it calls for eyelets. While so we're here. It just calls for it. It's such a classy album. I got to decide what color. Oh, I want to use gold stars. Gold stars. Oh, yeah, because you get a gold star and you get a gold star. Let's do gold stars. So the hole's already there. Don't have to do that. I just need my eyelet setter. If you guys want to see a video on how to use this tool, I have a full video explaining the usage of this tool. I know that so many people ask that question. I did not prep this ahead of time. So guess what you got to do? Talk. Talk amongst yourselves. No, they'll have to talk with us. They, they are talking among themselves, but it'll be they quiet are. if we don't also talk to them so i need to start reading comments out loud. yes you do sir yes okay. you do i can do that that's cute um i think i squeezed that far enough down give me a moment debbie said all debbies are pretty good people oh lucy said next to lucy's debbies are pretty good are they after, making friends after lucy's are they making friends i think people whose name is Vince. They're pretty good, too. Sorry, Tam. I did not tell What's you about this Tam? tool. I did say oh. the usual sus suspects, though, so. Well, she's already on top of it. She's done posted the video. I know. I, I know. We do sell this punch in the store. I don't think I'm using anything that we don't carry. I don't think I am. Y'all can't see me doing this off screen, but I'm having to muscle it up. She's grunting. <laughs> Muscling it up. Just returned from dinner. What did you have that I have not eaten yet? Here, I'll do it in camera. Just muscling it. This gives you big arm muscles. Lucy said Vince's are definitely up there. How sweet. That's right. Way up there. Way up How there. sweet. He's a pretty good guy. Y'all know what he did last night. Let me just tell y'all. So we were at the Taste of Chilton. And listen, if you're ever in town when the Taste of Chilton is going on, I'm gonna tell you this, it's worth a trip, Benny. It was pretty, it was pretty good. It's worth a weekend getaway for the taste of Chilton. It was incredible. We had just all the food you ever would want. And my favorite place was there, G Ma's Cupcakes. And she had little mini carrot cake cupcakes. Okay. And <laughs> Benny got his little mini carrot cake cupcake, and I got one too. And Vinny, being the kind man that he is, took one bite of his and gave me the other bite because it was a two-biter. Two-biter. And I was like... It really wasn't a two-biter, but I made it a two-biter. How many... Oh, it was a one-biter? Oh, yeah. It's a it's shove a two -biter it all in there for me. one time kind of thing. But I'm like, you're my kind of guy, Vinny. You're a good man. All right. I'm not decorating these tonight. These would get a photo and these would get journaling in my album. Okay? Now, they would probably also get twine or... Something like that. Do you see how snug these are? I'm okay with that because I don't want these falling out everywhere. So I would probably tie twine, ribbon, something to the top. Not going to do that tonight. We're going to keep going. Because I only have 15 minutes left. I want to do a little more. Because I want to show you something else cool. John Marie, I, I, don't, I, I don't know to, to answer that question exactly. But I would think that you could. WD-40 is just a lubricant. Guess she I says her crocodile is really uh, squeaky. Oh, she yeah, was wondering you could. if you could add it's a little WD-40 to it. It's just a hinge. I would say yes. But Me too. Mm, Dana made it's metal. Soup. It's a metal construction, so I think it'd be fine. Debbie, we kind of, she kind of did this album before. She put the, the pieces of paper on the album before the show because of limited amount of time. So it was kind of pre-made. Well, the album is pre-made. The album itself is pre-made. All I did before the show was do these papers. I just covered those flat areas, and I covered this red in the back. I'll show you. I put this piece of red on. Then I did seven of these guys. I did one on camera for you guys to see me do it. But I wanted to give you, look, this is an easy one. I just wanted to give you a full project tonight. And so when I'm doing, I never do an, 
Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say never, because sometimes I do an album, but I don't typically do this much of an album on a live show. So I'm trying to give you something to, something to make. This one's really self-explanatory, because here's what you're doing. Cover. Also, I have all the measures, all the amounts that you need. Everything's in the description. All you're going to do is cover these sections and then make your little pieces. Now, here's what I wanted to do. I'm loving this. I hope this works. I do not know. It was a plan in my head. And in my head, it made sense. Y'all we'll know what happens. happens. So I've told y'all how much I'm loving these little things right here from these companies. Like this one is right on a bubble. And I think this one is really cute with all the different little words, all the different little sayings. This one's really cute. I'm definitely getting this one out right here. So let me get my trimmer. That's a good point, Kim. Kim says you might want to make sure that you wipe off any WD-40 overspray so it doesn't get all over your work. Good point. Or every time you punch a hole, you have an oil mark and it becomes your signature. Well, that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> you know who made it? Was it John Marie that asked? Be like, mm, this came from John Marie. Got that oil mark on it. <laughs> oil mark on it. Ah, they'll go. This one came from Maymay because it's got this huge mistake. And this one came from John Marie because it's got an oil stain on it. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Are the pockets already in the book? Debbie yes. would like to know. Yes, this is the little book. Comes all done for you. All you're doing is covering pages. The little um, pocket. I can't open this one because it's not mine. It's one of you guys's, but you can see in there, everything is in there for you. Matter of fact, on the website, you can see a picture. On our product page, you can see a picture of it opened up. All right. This is what I'm thinking. Aha. That's what I thought. I think it needs some. I don't know. Does it need something behind it? It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute just like that. Y'all going to say it needs something. The reason I think it doesn't is because of how much blank space I have in here. I think this will work. I kind of like it. I do too. I'm doing it. If you don't like it, put something behind it. Okay. If you don't like it. Or if you don't like it, don't put it in there. Yeah. But I mean. if Because you are doing you. You do what you want to do. I really like it. I really like it like that. So isn't that cute to be able to add something about the season in here? You could even put on here like this album given to so-and-so on this date, blah, 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 blah. That would be cute. Back here, I think I want to use one of those that kind of looks like the dashboard. I think I want to use this one. And I've been saying dashboard a lot. I don't know if y'all understand what I mean by that, but in um, planners, they have a page called a dashboard, and it's typically like a laminated page where you can put stickers and post-it notes and things on, and you typically just kind of have a messy page, and it's called your dashboard, and so... I think that would be really cute, um, a really cute look back on the back. So we're going to use this one because I think that's adorable. And I'm going to say this to you, and I've said this before. I only have this album set up for eight photos. I'm going to show you how to do more in just a second. But I want you to consider how many eight photos is. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you have to remember to get photos all month long, you can probably get eight. You know what I'm saying? We live in the moment and that's what we should do, especially after the couple of years we're coming out of. We've all been wanting to live in the moment. So if you're not just snapping pictures 24-7 at every event you're at, it's no big deal. Eight pictures, pretty easy to get from a month, you know? Don't oh, you yeah. agree? All right, let me show you how to add some more stuff, okay? In between these pockets, in between these tag pockets is a pocket. See this? Hi, Jan. Welcome in. First timer. You can add, you can add a couple things here and I'll just show you. You have to be careful because it's tight. Okay. So you're not going to get as big of a piece in here as you think you are. So I'm going to put that in and I'm going to go right there. That feels about what I want. So I'm going to do this guy. You're not going to like it, but I'm going to do it at three and three eighths wide. Okay. So let me show you what I'm thinking. I'm going to get some scrap paper real quick. So talk amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. We could do that. I'm digging for scrap paper. That's the right size. You're not talking amongst yourselves. Welcome, Brenda. It's her first time. Not going to do scrap paper because I can't find one big enough on the fly. So I'm going to cut some down. It's fine. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh, how tall do I want it? I did not measure that portion. 
Oh, I hit that microphone. I'm sorry, y'all. I forget I got this biggie mic on. Let's see. Why do I never use my ruler correctly? It's a thing with me. Four. Four by three and three eighths. That's what we're going to do. You can edit that if you when you get yours. If you don't like that, have fun with it. Let's do four. Then you have a couple options, okay? You can do three and three eighths like this. And let me show you what you get, okay? You get this little situation. It slides in. And because of the measurement I went, it hangs out a bit. So you know it's in there. But it still fits in. See that? Four by three and three eighths. Now something else you can do, which is really cute too. Let me show you. So three, six, six and three eighths. Okay. So I'm going to cut this down by four. Cut this down to four. Then I'm going to cut it down to six and three eighths. So you can get even more pictures with this one, okay? And what you're going to do is get your scoreboard. And I want you to score this one at three. And if I did this right on the fly, you'll see what we get. We scored at three, like this, okay? Fold this over. You should have three eights hanging over. See that? And that's what I'm looking for. Then, just to make it cute, and because this will slide in and out of the pocket easier, I'm going to round the corners. Now, I'm going to do a half inch just for space. And I think I might even round these corners just to make them cute right here. Oops, I shut it when I laid it down. And then these. And was like, if you pick up one more thing that you didn't tell me about. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the reminder, reminder Donna. Um, we have 660. 90 people watching and 319 likes. Either so we're failing or y'all are forgetting. <laughs> so see what we've got here? Now we have a little booklet that can live inside here. So depending on how much extra storage, how much extra um, photo, how many extra photos you feel you need. Is this the right size? Three and three, eight. Yeah. Depending on how much you need, you can make them singles. Or the little booklet. I'm going to put this in too so y'all can see it. The reason I like for it to hang out is you can also label this area. So maybe this is like recipes or Meemaw's house or um, whatever you want to put on there. <laughs> and see how those will hang out? You could obviously do them in a different color and I might should have for the, for the video. But isn't that a good idea? Super easy. And then you have a little more space. Love that idea. Something you could do with these is have these on your dinner table and, you know, Christmas dinner table and have yeah, people yeah. write memories from the month. It doesn't have to be from dinner, but cool. use them to write memories from the month and then put them inside. That would be really cute, too. Let's talk the cover. This is my nemesis. I'll tell y'all, covers are my nemesis. No joke. They are. Just saying. Anybody right, else feel that way? If you're trying to stay to 30 minutes, you're almost out of time. I'm doing good, though. So these pages are great for covers. Look at that. That's so cute. These pages are great for covers. This is cute. Let's get cozy. Merry everything and happy always. That would be cute on the front of here, right? Let me keep looking. Let's look at the stickers. Look how many stickers are on here. Man, this is where I start slinging stuff. JP is curious as to what size photo would fit on those pages. Um, on the bigger pages, because you have all this room too. On the bigger pages, you can Looks do like it's three by four. It's three by four, but I would probably do two and a half or two and three fourths and somewhere into four and a quarter. Now, I gotta say something, you guys. You might be afraid you can't do pictures like that. And if you haven't watched me before, that is not the case. I use an app on my phone called Print to Size. I do not know what it's called on, on Android. I think Tamitha remembers, but my app is called Print to Size. I can make my photos any size I want okay and you can do that too using other um photo software apps or things like that and you can also have them printed at other like you know Walgreens CVS like that but those are whatever they do for you okay so if you're going to do that kind of thing if you're going to use a printing place 
you need to make sure you know what size they let you do or can do for you. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, but either Callie or Kaylee, whichever one, this paper pack is called Hello Christmas. And I may not have got it right with either one of those pronunciations. So if I didn't, I apologize. You apologize. I apologize. You apologize. Tamitha just posted the link for the paper pack. So if you're in the comments, you should be able to see that. Cartabella, Hello Christmas. Okay, nobody get upset. This little guy right here is going to sacrifice for me. <laughs> this little guy is going to go right here, and he's fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to live right through it because it's a cut apart. Hmm. But watch. I can do this. You can do this. He will be perfect for here. He's going to do me a great job. As a snowflake as a background is to give me some place to decorate. Sometimes you just need that. I've got something in mind and I'm doing it on the fly. So we'll see what happens. I like this little guy, but sometimes I need things to pop. Okay. So I'm going to run this guy from edge, from red paper to red paper. This is the sticker too. Y'all know I have to use this every single time. That's a little crooked. Let's get yep, it a little straight. Um... Shannon had the day off today because of the uh, extremely long weekend that we have in store uh, for all of those coming to or are participating Attending. in the online craft event this weekend. It's Craft Acropolis weekend. Well, it's not. It's Holly Jollyopolis weekend. And this goes back because we're not done with it. By the way, if you're going to buy some of these, you need to know something. Okay. You could probably make. I feel you can get three from a paper pack pretty easy, but I think you might could get four of these little guys. So if you're making them for friends and family, you can get it. All right. I love these trees. Don't know how this is going to go, but this was Sandy, what I had it, in mind. It is amazing that she does that because most people can't follow her brain. It goes everywhere. Whose brain? Your brain. It's he amazing. Says, that I appreciate that you explain your thought. I should. They said, I so appreciate that you explain your thought process as you go. Being in that brain is a scary place. It is scary. But the reason I explain it is because I desire to be a good teacher for you guys. That's my goal. So if I'm just doing it and not telling you why I'm doing it, that's to me, that's not teaching. Um, That's just do as I say do. And I have had classes where we do that. I've had classes where I'm like, look, this time just do it because I'm telling you. But not not very many because not very she many. She don't say that to y'all. She says that to me. <laughs> just do it because I said it. It will work. Don't make me explain. Please don't it. make me explain myself. I promise it will work. Um there was something I wanted to say. Please, oh well. please have the word Mary. It clearly was not important. You do. You're you're good. This is good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go um, to Christmas. Sandy asks, are they bigger size pre-made albums? We do have bigger size. They're not. the Well, we do have 149 in market that is larger. Um, But the, the larger ones that I really love are the 49 in market. They are fantastic. And listen, all my viewers right here are going to tell you, just watch her channel. You'll see them because that's all she does. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Well, and, and YouTube appears to love them because they keep promoting they them. They do love them. And that means people like watching them. So um, I love them. I can't get enough of them. So now the question is, do I want to break this up? I don't think I do. Tell you what, I'm going to stop here because of time and because we're in pretty good shape. All right. I certainly would do something on the on the ends. And if I'm giving this to somebody, I would make this personal. Something like. Um, Christmas 2022, Christmas with the Helms 2022, Helms 20, something like that. I would personalize that. But look how cute. And you have all of this space to decorate. Okay. You can do stickers. You can do cut aparts. You can do photos. Um, you can, there's so much you can do inside of here. I want to tell you one thing that I had issue with today. I was being very rough. I was hurrying to get ready for the live show and I wanted to get so much in. I was being rough and I popped one of these signatures out. If that happens to you, don't panic. Just grab your double-sided sticky tape and 
add a little art glitter glue to that and put it back in and it's nice and sturdy now. But I did do that. I was just like slinging this thing around. Wasn't good. But how cute, right? Turned out fantastic. I didn't even put a closure on this one. Everybody seems to love Many it. times I will. But these little guys, anytime I have these in the store, like we have samples made up in our store if you come to visit us. They, these get picked up, looked through, and people love them. Uh, JP, so. on the back of that stamp set is a list of all of the different words that are in the prompted memory set. But I don't know if they have um, I think a it's list on the website of the too. word combinations. Mm-mm. But you may see that in some of the samples. But she, what um, what Sylvia tries to do is make sample pages for our stamp set. So you might be able to see that there. And if not, it's pretty easy because you don't, there's, it's not that many words. It is a finite number of words. So you can't make a whole bazillion different things. So I'm glad you think it's so cute. I think it is too. And it's neat and clean. And if you gave this to somebody, it would make perfect sense, right? Perfect sense. Also, at the end of this week, hopefully, they didn't show up, did they? I can't, we can't talk about it. What I was supposed to release at the end of the week is not here, is it? The, um, I can say it's a stamp set. And it was a special stamp set. We did get a shipment of stamps in. Did we get, but I thought I heard somebody said that the one I wanted. Am I right, Shannon, for somebody? I don't one think of the came steps in. that came in, a stamp sets that came in, we were missing 122 of the ones that came in, but we did get 388. So we them. got some? I, we got three stamp sets in, the club set and two that are supposed to be new releases. Um, is Shannon still here? Because Tammy, they can't look on the inside. And I don't know. But here's what I wanted to tell y'all. When you, do you know this one by looking at it? No. When you purchase a event from us, we in the past, I'm not going to say always, we always have, I don't know if we always will, we always have released a special stamp set that releases to students first and then to the public. What's it called? This one you is called, yeah, you can read it. It's up in the top corner. And I was, I want to release it to you tonight, but I'm not sure that we got it because we had some issues with our release, um, with our shipment. But look for it for the weekend. And if I show you now, you're going to be mad because it's really, really good. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to see if we really I have it or not. Remember. I shouldn't have been said anything, but I wanted to tell you to be watching Hold for on, it this let me week. Look just one second. Hold on. Be just, watching for it this let week. Let me look at my messages with my daughter-in-law. If I could look see. online, I could tell you. I think I think um, Shannon got off, though, which is fine. I told her to get off of here. <laughs> yes. It yes, is what? here. It's here? It is here. It's not in the store, oh. but it is here because they said you wanted to wait till this weekend. But it is here, but we did not get all of them. Okay. So what I want y'all to do. <laughs> Why did I do this to y'all? I'm doing I'm going to show it. It's already been raised. You want to like show it in secret. the after show? Yes. After show? Yes. I will show it in the after show. And in between there, I might be able to make it live. Just give me just a few minutes. Um, Tamitha, go ahead and put the um, after show link in. She said there's not a link. To the after. Oh, there's not. You know why? Because Tam. Um, okay, so I'll have to do it. So give me just a second. I'm going to set it up on my phone and I might be able to fix the stamp set situation. The reason there's not a link is because without Shannon here, she couldn't do the switching. So we're doing this from the iPhone tonight. So we're just going to make another one and we'll be right with you in just a few minutes. So just be hanging around my channel and we'll show you the stamp set in the after show along with we got another really cool thing in that you are going to want to see. Like We got a bunch in that's new to the store. A ton. So I'm excited to show all that. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to set up the second live and I'll, you'll have to go to it. You'll have to go to May May Made It on YouTube. And I can let Tamitha come back to this one and put the link in the um, description or in the chat. So you got not the chat, but in the comments so you can get there too. So we will get you there, but give us just a second. So I'm going to end this one. Forgot about that. Sorry, Tam. And then we'll see you in the after show in just a few minutes. Bye, guys. Bye now.